The rib cage, lungs, and diaphragm all work together to help us breathe. We'll show you how this works. We'll focus on what happens inside the chest cavity. Here is a drawing of the rib cage which surrounds the chest cavity. Here we'll show you a simplified diagram of this rib cage. We'll show you the ribs as if they were cut through here. This is called a cross section. At the bottom of the chest cavity, there is a large band of muscle called the diaphragm. The diaphragm is connected to the rib cage to form a totally sealed cavity. Now we'll have a look at what's inside the chest cavity. The lungs take up most of the space in the chest cavity. We are showing them here as pink. There are two strong, thin membranes around each lung. We show them here as black lines. The outer membrane is stuck to the inside of the wall of the chest cavity. And the inner membrane is stuck to the outside surface of the lung. These strong membranes protect the lungs and the chest cavity wall as the lungs move. Between these two membranes is a cavity filled with watery liquid. This layer of fluid provides lubrication so movements of the lungs don't irritate tissues. It also helps to stick the outside surface of the lung to the wall of the chest cavity. Let's look at what happens during inhalation. The muscles between the ribs contract and pull the rib cage upward and outward. At the same time, diaphragm muscles contract and pull the diaphragm downward. Let's watch as this happens. If we watch this again, we see that as this occurs, the volume inside the chest cavity increases. Now when the volume inside a sealed container increases, the pressure inside will decrease. So as we pull the rib cage out and up and pull the diaphragm down, we are decreasing the pressure inside the chest cavity. When this pressure inside the chest cavity is decreased, it becomes lower than the pressure of the surrounding atmosphere. Air will always move from an area of higher pressure to an area of lower pressure. So which way do you think the air will move? We see that the air moves in through the air passages in order to equalize the decreasing pressure inside the chest cavity. And that way, we draw air into our lungs. So the lungs do not have muscles of their own. We are able to inhale because muscles in the rib cage pull it upwards and outwards, while muscles in the diaphragm contract to pull it down. And as this happens, air moves in to equalize the decreasing pressure in the chest cavity. Now we'll see how we exhale or breathe out. When the muscles between the ribs relax, the rib cage moves downward and inward. And when the diaphragm muscles relax, the diaphragm moves upward. We'll watch this happening. As everything is pushing inward, we see the volume inside the chest cavity decreases. This means the pressure inside increases. Now, the pressure inside the chest cavity is higher than the atmospheric pressure. Remember that air moves from an area of higher pressure to an area of lower pressure. So as the volume in the chest cavity decreases, air is pushed out of the lungs. So again, we don't have muscles in our lungs. It is when the muscles between our ribs and in our diaphragm relax, that the volume of the chest cavity is decreased and air is pushed out. Now we'll have a look at the whole process of breathing. Inhalation. Exhalation. Inhalation.
exhalation. Of course, this process continues to occur throughout our whole lifetime. 